My optimism is focused uh, primarily on the larger goal of making this transition and finding a solution for the climate crisis. We've got Barack Obama going great guns on climate change, but we've also got the Republicans doing everything they can to stop him. And so where are we really? How do you feel about the prospects of a climate deal, a strong climate deal from Paris? Well, I think we are going to see a Paris agreement. I think that's uh, assured at this point. And the new architecture of this agreement makes it uh, far more uh, feasible to, to actually get an agreement that all nations uh, sign up to because they're selecting their own goals. When I say strong agreement, I mean limit warming to two degrees. Yeah, I think it's too early to conclude that it won't succeed uh, not only in getting an agreement but in getting one that, that might actually fill the bill. But even if it falls a little bit short of the two degree threshold, it will definitely lend a tremendous amount of momentum to an historic transition that's now well underway, away from carbon-based energy and toward renewables, efficiency, battery storage, uh, and sustainable agriculture and forestry. I think that attitudes shifted slowly at first, but then in a crescendo. Climate is now uh, on that matrix. It, the change is inevitable. I think it's well underway, uh, but we are in a race against time because we're still putting 110 million tons every day of global warming pollution into the atmosphere as if it's an open sewer. But it's exciting to see uh, the advances in renewables and the, the, the better way ahead. Let's talk about the Pope. What do you make of the encyclical? I mean, in terms of what its message is, about how, you know, the ties between climate change and poverty and equality, his framing of this as a moral question. I was absolutely uh, thrilled to the marrow of my bones uh, by the clarity and forcefulness of his moral leadership. He has a, a mantle of uh, moral authority that uh, is connected to his advocacy for the poor, uh, as uh, Jesus said, the least of these. Uh, and I think it has touched people's hearts uh, all around the world. And I, th I think that it's uh, making a profound difference uh, in the shifting of attitudes uh, on climate. One of the things the Pope says, well, it's kind of an anti-capitalist message, isn't it? That the way our economic system works now is, is not good for the people or the poor people, is not good for climate. But you have seen capitalism as the solution for climate change, isn't that right? What I have argued is that we need deep reforms in capitalism. The Pope in his encyclical said that those responsible for harmful pollution should pay the price of that pollution. Well, that's not very different from what many of us have been arguing, that by establishing a price uh, on global warming pollution, we shift that burden, and then we allow the natural economic dynamism and energy that's inherent in all economies to work for us instead of uh, against us. We need to adequately price the so-called externalities, those factors like pollution that are now just considered magically excluded from what we measure. A price on denial. What would be a, a sort of just response to Republicans and others who deny uh, the threat of climate change? It's that Mother Nature <laughs> is making these points very persuasively. Uh, every night on the television news is like a nature hike through the book of Revelation. Uh, and people notice this and they hear from their parents and grandparents it didn't used to be this way. You know, when there are record floods and record droughts and record wildfires uh, uh, and sea level rising, when the streets of Miami, Florida, or some of them flooded during high tide, uh, people can hardly fail to notice that. Barack Obama has done a lot about climate change recently. Yeah. What do you want to see Barack Obama doing now in the time remaining in the White House? What new initiative should Obama take now? I think that in his second term, uh, he has done really quite a good job. Uh, of course, there are things I would change. I think Arctic drilling is insane. 
the Deepwater Horizon spill was warning enough, uh, and the conditions are so uh, uh, hostile to, to uh, human activity there that, uh, no, I think it's a mistake to drill for oil in the Arctic. I think that ought to be banned. The next president, regardless of their politics, yeah. what do you think they're going to have to do? I mean, would a Republican in the White House, a Republican denier in the White House, what would that mean? None of the Republican candidates uh, show signs of leadership. There are actually a couple of them have... have uh, Lindsey Graham. Yeah, uh, a couple of them have toyed with a responsible position, but we'll see.